Assalamu alaikum y'all, it's Aya here. Inshallah, you're having an amazing week so far. Just gonna get right to it. This is the time in the semester where you kind of fall into a slump. It's where I'm at right now. The finish line is not quite in sight yet. And I mean, let's face it, there's enough time for life to happen that can really get in the way or weigh down our energy levels when it comes to our studies. I have my second exam for biology uh, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, and I can't say I'm as prepared as I was for the first one. There was nothing else in the way other than my studies and really just me getting in my head. With this one, I have not been fully focused um, on the chapters, I have three chapters in this exam. I just lost Diesel after my German Shepherd after 12 years, who was also my father's dog. So that wakes up wounds of his passing, Allah my father. Then there's my other dog, Zuzu, out back, who's still searching for her brother, and that is heartbreaking. So that takes an emotional toll on me. And around the same time, I had my second dose of the COVID vaccine, which alhamdulillah, I didn't get sick, but it had me on my ass. Like I was completely knocked out. I had no energy in me. I was extremely lethargic. I actually had a quiz for these chapters coming up and I had to email my professor that, look, I am so out of it. I don't think it's safe for me to drive the 40 minutes, 45 minutes it takes for me to go to class. She, and she was super understanding, alhamdulillah. So, I decided not to go and really have just been rusting. I haven't been going over the material. If you're going through a mid-semester slump, so am I, okay? One, let's be forgiving of ourselves. And two, I was walking Zuzu and thinking, what are things that I can do in order to kind of wake myself up? my go-to in responding to a slump that I get into in order to just kind of act quickly and wake up out of it is not anything big or drastic. It's three things, mind, body, and spirit, okay? When I am not fulfilling one as much as I should, I know that I feel a sense of imbalance. I try to visit those three areas, find that little change I can make to shift my perspective, my energy levels, and have me going in the direction that I need to go. First, my mind, am I fulfilling that? Alhamdulillah, I feel so. I'm educating myself in terms of school and stimulating my mind in that way, um, academically, as well as topics outside of school when in, in terms of self-betterment. When it comes to body, I know when it comes to my sleep, I do get the right amount of sleep, but it's not in consistent hours of the day. So I need to pick a specific time um, and, and really be consistent. My brother's really good at that, actually. Another thing is I noticed because I'm not gymming as much and I love, like, you know, for me, working my um, lower body with squats, deadlifts, all that, I feel like that's always really aligned um, my back. I've always, it, it helps with my posture and my breathing because I'm not doing that as much and I'm studying a lot more. I'm noticing that I'm, I'm my posture sucks. <laughs> Something else that I want to kind of shift, even if it's like literally just wearing earrings for me, that's what it is. So I might just like fill in my eyebrow and just do some, a wing, but instead of sometimes doing a wing, I've been like doing them consistently and not just when I go out for guys that are watching this, my wings are like my, my liquid liner. It makes me feel good as my morning routine and just kind of giving me that boost of energy. I mean, for guys, it might be like fixing your hair or going ahead and having like a clean shave. And for those that are gonna be figuring these little changes out for yourselves as well, whatever ideas you have, feel free to share it in the comments below. I would love to hear. And the last thing is spirit. For me, um, that spiritual side are my prayers because that is literally essentially um, why we're here and it really is something that brings calm to your soul a little change that i'm gonna do spiritually is taking more time in my prayers especially aisha my time that i prefer to study in is is at night so i notice throughout the semester i kind of rush aisha like i just pray it and go back to studying as if 
Astaghfirullah, God is in the way of my studies when it's the opposite. If anything, my studies um, can get in the way of the time that I need to dedicate to Allah. Appreciating my day, releasing all of my worries and stresses onto him to let him know that it is him that I fully trust and give all my faith to, that I pay gratitude to his mercy and really just, just it benefits me. You know, it, it, it's not, Allah doesn't need my prayer. I need, I need him. I can continue to have that humble, appreciative perspective throughout my next day, taking my time during Aisha prayer and praying my sunnah. What does that do? That helps the other areas. When it comes to my mind, um, if I'm stressed out and worried with my studies, that prayer, that time that I commit to the spiritual side of myself will calm my nerves and my overthinking because I know that I'm putting it in Allah's hands and showing him that I trust him, right? When it comes to the physical, of course, when you're taking that time for prayer, you're taking your time to breathe. You're not rushing. You're not overthinking and have a full surrender. So it kind of makes me see things in a bigger light, reminds me to kind of get out of my head, out of my own little world, and remember why we're all here. Give praise, um, full surrender, and um, appreciation of that mercy that we receive every single day. I hope you enjoyed this video, y'all. I'm about to um, get into my studies. Basically on the ground right now, um, there was a water leak. It seeped into my room. <laughs> <laughs> and it wet my zip box spring and so I took that out order a new base that I've been wanting to. I still need to build it but I want to do take my exam first so that's why I'm on the floor it's why my room is a hot mess I just had to move all my furniture to the other side and I just didn't fix it after that <laughs> I have folded laundry that I still need to put up I have uh, school stuff from my backpack just thrown out back onto my desk so it's just again a hot mess gonna clean and organize that because an organized space means an organized mind um inshallah you guys enjoy and can take even just the smallest benefits to this video and find those little changes that you need to make in order to make it to the finish line and get out of your slump and inshallah i'm working on getting out of mine let's do this together i know we have this like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this and until next time y'all bye bye